Hey guys, so uh, I don't know if you saw yesterday's video or not, but I said that my Tombo subscription box was not coming in, <clears throat> well, was coming in today, um, but I'd be working, and I didn't know if I'd get a video. Well, daycare's closed, so I'm not working, well, I am working, working from home, <coughs> that doesn't mean I can't take a few minutes to go through my Tombo box, which, as you can see, is a heck of a lot bigger than last month's box but don't be surprised that doesn't mean we're getting a lot of tons of stuff because I did find a few uh, unboxings on Instagram yesterday <clears throat> because like I said I thought it was coming in today but I did track it last night just for kicks and giggles to make sure and it turns out I would have gotten it yesterday if it wasn't for the snow day because apparently it arrived in my town at like 2 a.m. was processed through sorting and out for delivery by 8 a.m. But at 11.45 a.m. decided that they couldn't deliver to my house. Which is strange because I saw plenty of other cars going up and down my street. But the mailman apparently couldn't make it. There was no snow even on my street. There was snow in our yards but not like on the street. So I don't get it. But whatever. Got it today. That's fine. Um, and in those videos... And I was kind of sad to see, like, some of the responses and comments where people were like, oh, if, if I don't get my, uh, or if I don't like it in February, then I'm going to cancel because they wanted, they were expecting more art things. Personally, I was going to cancel after my December one once I got my December box, but loved it. But I think the difference is, and these people didn't even like the December box. And they really didn't like this box. Um, but I think the difference is, I'm new to Tombow. I have watched all kinds of videos, and I've watched all kinds of people, well, watched the videos and seen the pictures of people using the Tombow products, but I've never actually purchased Tombow for myself to use. I've purchased them for, I purchased the dual tip brushes for a gift for my stepmom. She got like all the different ones at the time that were available at the time I bought her for like Christmas like two years ago but never purchased anything for myself so for me these boxes like have all new stuff in them but for those people who are like big into like really really big into like crafting with mixed media and coloring and, and drawing and, and lettering and all that other stuff they may already have some of the stuff that has already been gifted like or not gifted but in the box like the dual tip brushes from last month, they likely already have them, whereas I didn't. So that, to me, that was really cool. And some of the mar some of the pens and stuff that came in it were really cool. But they may, you know, if you already have a lot of Tombow stuff, this thirty dollar box may not be for you. Now I will admit, last month's box when you tally up the MSRP and even the Amazon, if you bought it from Amazon. Of course, we all know the Amazon prices change like every day, sometimes multiple times a day. It just depends on their price spiders and stuff and finding the best deals. But the box was still cheaper than buying things on Amazon at that time. Now, I did notice some of the things, some of the things that I got my last month's box were actually cheaper when I priced this month's box. But, you know, but anyway, last month's box to me, the value was worth it. I received more things than I did than I paid for the box this month <clears throat> I don't know if it's worth it or not but I'm not going to give up because I was so excited about last month's box and and I think that maybe I think they'll listen I think they'll hear well I would like to hope that they hear but anywho let's go ahead and get started try not to Ooh, they just started it right out everything's right on top how cool is that um all right so let's just find the card which again I'm not going to read to you guys but I will use it as a reference so this month you get six oh, I'm sorry five items six items really you're getting 20 free photo prints which honestly I did not price that one out because I can tell you if I use the Shutterfly app on my phone I can get 250 free four by six prints and all I have to do is pay for shipping which is like nine bucks so unless it's I feel like the 20 free plus free shipping, I don't care what size, I assume they're 4x6, but I think I saw that the 5x7 also qualifies, which it doesn't say 
20 free prints and free shipping expires on February the 15th. I think someone said on, on Instagram that it, it qualifies for 4x6 and 5x7. Five 5x7 seven. Five is kind of cool, but I don't, well, probably needed it for Christmas, but I don't know if I need it between now and February. But it's 20 free prints. I'll probably never use this company again because I do prefer to go through Shutterfly. But maybe I'll do it. We'll see. It doesn't hurt. We'll see. And this is through, what is it? Uh, I guess it's Hello Lucky. Yeah, it's through Hello Lucky. Wait. Customize. Yeah. But anyway, so to me, this is not worth any value. This value, I didn't even calculate this when I calculated the value of the box. Because Shutterfly for like eight, nine bucks, I can get 250. So, and that's just solely on the cost of shipping. So, it's cool, but it's kind of a waste for me because I do use Shutterfly and I have the app. So anyway, you also, I'm just going to go through, we'll, we'll just do this. We'll go through these items and I'll base it off of whatever. So we already did the, the 20 free prints that I'm not going to value. My dogs are barking, they're highly upset. Mailman just came in or came by, so they're still kind of stirred up from the mailman. Guys, I just ran out, grabbed my box, didn't even check the mailbox. He, he put this by the door. Um, so I just left it at that. So, we'll just do this one because I'm playing with it already. This is the Retry Adhesive Tape. Um, it allows for removing and reapplying, so it is not a permanent adhesive. I could not find this one on the Tombow website. I don't know if I was looking at it, looking for it wrong, but I couldn't find this one on the Tombow website. But on Amazon, you know what, I don't think I found it on Amazon. No, I'm sorry. I did find this on Tombow. All right, I rounded all my numbers up. So, or, or down, depending on how, if it was like, you know, 319, it was $3, right? Anyway, so this I did find. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. So the retry adhesive, which apparently is not permanent because you can remove and reapply. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, actually, maybe I should finish. You can remove and reapply within one minute of application. After one minute, you increase this, it increases the strength and you get the permanent bond. So that's pretty cool. So if you put something down and you decide, I can't, why is it so dark? Hold on. So if you put it down, you decide you don't like it, you have one minute to move. I don't know if that helped. So it is permanent, but anywho, this is $5 on Tombow and I, or you can get it for $3 on Amazon. Amazon's a winner on this one, for sure. This is the Mono Two-Way Corrective Tape. Uh, looks like it's an eraser on this side, which is why it's two-way. So it's, a, it's a eraser on one side for pencil, and then the correction tape on this side for pen, marker, whatever. So I don't, I don't know if you can see that. So this is actually really cool. I don't use pencil so much, but I think I think this is really cool. So this one is the one I could not find on Tombow, but I'm gonna. Add, I think I averaged it at say five bucks because I think the rest of their corrective tapes are about five dollars each. On Amazon, it depended on the color. So this is the pink one, and the pink one was closer to five dollars per unit, whereas some of the other exterior colors were closer to four dollars a unit. So four to five bucks on Amazon. Personally, I'm not a big pink fan, although this is really cute and I kind of like how they color coordinated. These two items, um, I don't know if they did on purpose, but they're color coordinated. Um, but I probably would have got the closer to four dollar ones because I think that was like the blue and the green. Um, but plus, it's honestly, if the pink was closer to four dollars, if I had the choice, I would have just chosen the four dollar one, regardless of color. So the pink one was closer to five dollars. Other colors were closer to four. So you can get this on Amazon. I don't know about Tombow. I couldn't find it. Um, pretty cool and here this is kind of I don't know I don't know if this is how they would ship it if you bought it from their own store or not but it's just a little poly bag cellophane poly bag Ooh, really big cellophane poly bag where is it there we go this is obviously for a larger item put that over there 
So here, I like the size of this. It is mini. So this is the Reporter 4 Compact Pen. It's got black ink, red, blue, and green. Let's see if we can find something. Oh. All right. Here. Let's do this. So here's the... I like, I like the way this feels in my hand. Can you see? Ooh, that didn't really work so well. I think it's just because it's cold. Let's try it again. There we go. So it's just a ballpoint pen. So it took two, two tries on the blue, but I think that's because it's cold. It's still barely above freezing. I couldn't even... My washer and dryer's in a workshop outside. Um... It, the pipes are froze up, <clears throat> so it, it's, it's a too bad situation. Unless it start, unless my husband comes home, he did have to work because the reason for both they stay home, he can undo it. Undo it being uh, thaw out the pipes. That's cool. I did notice on the Tombow website they sell this pen in different colors. I saw that. A lot of, I mean, the, the unboxings that I saw on Instagram last night, they were blue. And I was honestly hoping that they were going to be assorted and you would randomly get a different, you know, not everybody would get blue. Which still may be the case, I just happened to get blue. But they had a really cool green one. I like green. What can I say? Um, they had a bunch of different colors on the Tombow website. These pens are actually not that expensive. It's $6 on the Tombow website. And what I found on Amazon, it was $7. And I think that was the black one. I think the black one was on Amazon. I don't know if the maybe that was the blue one. Either way, it's still cheaper on the Tombow website. Um, until you take into account shipping, if you were only get this pen, you likely I think Amazon had it prime, so you could get seven dollars plus taxes depending on your state and have it in two days. Tombow, there's probably a minimum for free shipping. I really do like this pen though, but it is ballpoint. So if you don't like ballpoint, then you may not like it. But I like it doesn't feel cheap. Some of the uh, <clears throat> multi ink pens have this cheap feel about them. I said I had the I had one of them somewhere. It's a twist one though. And I ended up having to buy a metal body for it because the plastic body broke. So I like this. It also kind of reminds me of being a kid because these were super popular back in the day. Back in the day I mean like 20 years ago. And they're coming back. So there you go. $7 on Amazon, $6 on Tombow. And it's the Reporter 4 Compact Pen. Um and then this guy is the Mono Twin Permanent Marker. It is completely sealed on both sides. That's lovely. Permanent black marker with two tips, a fine and a broad. Ink is smear proof. Lovely. <coughs> so this is actually slightly smaller. This is the broad side. It looks like it's slightly smaller than a Sharpie. Or may, and I think this is the fine tip side, which is similar to some of their other uh, soft tip pens or hard tip. I don't know. Let's see. Where'd that paper go? It's actually thicker than a fine Sharpie. Unless it's the way I'm writing. It's really not that much difference between the fine and the broad. This is the angle. I don't know, but it writes really smooth. I like it. Permanent marker. This one was $3 on Tombow and $4 on Amazon. So another one that's cheaper on the Tombow website. And then it had some little stickers in that little cellophane bag. Looks like it's got a sticky on it. Look at that. It does. Ha! Huh. So you can peel that off and it's got a little sticky so it makes a little pouch which is kind of weird. Oh goodness. These obviously I did not value. I didn't price out, right? So this is what you get. They are they are clear. I don't can't tell which way. Can you see them? Yeah. There's the eraser, some color pencils. And a tape runner. These are clear. Some some different Tombow 
products. Oh, this would have been easier if I did this. And then some more Tombow products. Pretty cool. It's kind of strange. What's, what's really kind of weird is... It's almost perforated. How does this work? Maybe they're not stickers. Yep, there they are. It's kind of weird. Like, this is this whole big old thing. Can you see? Here. But, like, it's kind of perforated right here. Unless that was just supposed to, like, almost symbolize, like, a book. Notebook. I don't know. These are kind of cool, I guess, but... I don't know why they, they would have a little sticky thing right here that you could attach this. That's, that's, that's weird. It's just weird. So here is obviously the, the pack-in that they did. They did one last time, which was to show you how to draw, color, shade a cactus, cacti. And one or two different ones, I think. This one is DIY memory planning, January... Let's see, basically it's get your prints, use the calendar, and use the products inside. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. So this one is... Alright, so my camera shut off. I'm going to have to figure, why, figure out why it's doing that, but <clears throat> luckily you got a little bit more than what I thought you did. So this is the calendar that it comes with. Um... <clears throat> it took me a, a little bit to find the calendar, um, but when I finally found it, their website, they've got two different versions. This is the landscape, then they've got a square version of this particular calendar. Um, this one was valued at like 25 bucks. I personally would not pay $25 for a calendar like this. Um, I get plenty of free calendars, and I can find calendars that, and so can you, that better suit your interests. If it's letter writing, then that's fine. Letter writing, not calligraphy, not lettering, but letter writing, like writing snail mail. So if that's kind of your thing, then maybe this works for you and you would pay $25, but I wouldn't. And honestly, I wouldn't pay $25 for a calendar that, um, like a wall calendar or any kind of calendar for that matter, that, um, what do you say? It was something I'm interested in. Would I buy one for somebody else? Yeah, if, that, if I knew that they really wanted that Chihuahua calendar, I would totally do it. But for me, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to find the $10 one that still is the Chihuahua calendar. I don't like Chihuahuas. They're nice. My mother-in-law has a mix. Anyway, just not my breed. Whatever. So, $25 totally would, is not worth it for me. This calendar itself is not worth it for me. I'm likely not to use it, and I'm definitely not going to use it for its intent if I am to use it for the fact that it is still a calendar. So this would have been kind of cool to include in the December um, box. I say that because you have January, which you can't see. You have January. Well, guys, we're already on the set. Well, I'm, we're on the 18th now, so we're halfway through the month. So you lose this whole like one, two, and almost three weeks worth of usage. So this would have been cool for the. If you wanted this calendar, it would be cool for you to have for in the December month. So you could start off January 1st. But, basically, every month, and from what I saw, and we can flip through it, has a little task. And I guess this is, this is kind of cool. You can add like a, shoot, probably a 5x7 right here for a picture if you wanted to look at it. But basically, every month has its little a task. Write a letter to your future self to be open next January. Write a letter to a new friend. Write a letter to an old friend. Write a letter to your dentist, really. Come on. Write a letter to your favorite artist. That's kind of cool. Um, and it's got some holidays. Central Awareness Month. I guess that's why you write a letter to your, your dentist. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Most people aren't going to do that. The paper is super thick. It's like velvety, and it's like crazy thick. So it is super nice quality. Maybe it's worth $25 to you, but it's not to me. But anyway, February, write a love letter, write a secret letter, admire, secret admirer letter, write a letter of thanks to a black leader. I will say these are cute little icons. I won't go through all of them, but I will kind of. Here's 
March. And it is nice that you can add a picture here or, or doodle or something. Women's History Month. They could have chosen better doodles for ladies. Those look sad. April, ha Happy National Letter Writing Month. Take on the Write On Challenge. Write and leave a note in a public place. Write a letter to a childhood friend. I mean, they're, and then it just it continues. And each month is color coordinated. Write a letter to your grandfather. Oh no. Take a favorite teacher. Start a summer pen pal exchange. Summer starts in like June, so that's kind of late, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's cute. I'm just never. It's not happening. Not happening. So yeah, overall this month, the MSRP and Amazon values are both the same. I did, like I said, for that one item that I couldn't find on the Tombow website, I'm just saying it's five bucks because the rest of the similar items were five bucks. Um, they, so the totals for both were $19. That's a cute page. Could totally cut that out <clears throat> if you wanted to use these icons or these little images you could use these images and this font is really pretty you could use it for um, some mixed media project the one thing I don't like about this you can kind of tell where they I don't know they pieced uh, the images together some of these little can you see them they're, they're cut in half right there there where they kind of pieced this together and they obviously didn't think that went through but yeah some of these little images would be really cute to cut out you would just obviously want to check this side that one would, would be okay but you would want to like check the other side to see if there's something like if this turkey if you cut the turkey out what are you cutting out over here in this case nothing or some letters but I mean that's that would be super cute to cut out so all else fails, if you don't use it as a calendar and you can't find someone to give it to, cut the letters and the words and the images out and use them for some kind of mixed media project. Um, which if I can't find a home for it, that's likely what I'm going to do because I'm not going to use that as a calendar. I have a planner. I have desk calendar at my work. I actually have two desk calendars at my work. One I use solely to read the funny dog shaming things. Um, my mom got me that for Christmas. Never would have bought it for myself, but it's really cute and really funny. Gives me a nice little giggle every day when I rip the page off. But anywho, so yeah, this itself is 25 bucks if you go and buy it from the website. Everything else I averaged out to, or kind of rounded around to be about $19 whether you purchase it on TombowUSA.com or if you purchase it on Amazon. I will link the Amazon product descriptions or product pages below. Um, although... I paid $30 for this box. I'm going to value it at $19 plus this calendar. I'm only counting the $19 because that's the actual Tombow products. So I am kind of sad that I didn't get more Tombow products. And honestly, although I am actually really excited about the, the, the adhesive tape and the two-way correction tape, I kind of really wanted to get... Um, I actually had hoped that I would get one of these two items. Maybe not these two specifically, but this type, like a correction tape or a adhesive tape. Um, but I had really kind of hoped for some the duo markers, the twin twin duo or whatever. I can't remember what they're called now. But I kind of hoped for a little pack of those, to tell you the truth. Um, and I had secretly thought that they were sneaking them in because the last several Instagram posts that they had uh, were reposts of people who had were using them. Ugh. So, that's a little disappointing. But that's okay. Um, not every box is a winner. Not every... Oh, we're just cutting this. This little packet sucks. Uh, not every... Not every subscription box is a winner. And not 
each, not every month in a subscription box is a winner. So, you take them, you leave them, you, you take some, you leave, yeah, you win some, you lose some. There you go. And this is not a winner. Although I will be using these products, not the calendar, but the Tombow products. Hopefully next month we'll have more Tombow products. I'm not going to say if February sucks, I am canceling my subscription like I saw some of the comments on Instagram. But I will say I will give it a few months and if there's like, you know, say three out of four months suck, then I will likely cancel my subscription. Just because it is $30 a month and uh, you know, I could spend $30 somewhere else. Could have bought this for 19 Could have bought these four items for 19 and been super stoked about them. So I spent $30 on $19 worth of product. Again, not counting this, not counting the 20 images because I probably won't use them. If I do, it's still 20 images for free when I could get 250 for just the cost of shipping. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. Please like this video. If you liked it, of course. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like these unboxing ones or some of my art ones that I'm starting to do. And, um, leave me a comment. Let me know if you subscribe to the Tombow box, what did you think about uh, the January box? Did you love it? Could you skip it? What do you think? If you subscribe to any other boxes, let me know which ones are your favorites. Maybe I want to try them out. You never know. So anywho, um, I guess until next time guys, you guys have a good day. Bye.